Hello there, I'm the Nightmare Duke and welcome to another Fallout 76 video where today we're taking a quick look at the Chinese stealth armor and if it's actually worth your time and if it serves a purpose because there's a lot that's changed since it was introduced to 76 so let's just get straight into things. So this will be more geared towards uh, newer players or low level players but if you've been playing a long time and still use it or used it for a particular purpose then let me know down in the comments. So the Chinese stealth armor invers all the time as long as you're crouched so basically permanent stealth boy effect. Uh, the armor also has massively reduced fall damage and a thousand radiation resistance so you're good to go in nuke zones no problem not terrible ballistic and energy resistance compared to when you usually pick this up uh, so in terms of your character level then it's not bad at all uh, so it definitely has a few things going for it and i love this armor and used it from when i got it to around like level 100 150 so i did put it to use but how good is it nowadays because, well, you definitely still see people using this armor and overall I still think it has a place and is quite useful, just not as much as it used to be. While there's still, uh, you know, high level players that will use it, definitely are losing out on quite a few things. But if you're using this regularly, then let me know if you're rocking, you know, full health or bloodied or your level. It'll be interesting to see. But what are you actually missing out on? Well, firstly, there are no mods for the Chinese stealth armor. So what you see is what you get. You can't chuck a jetpack on this or pocketed or padded or whatever you usually like running on your armor. Uh, and this is also just a single piece of armor, not five pieces like other armor sets. So that's quite a few mods that you lose out on with, uh, you know, when you choose to go with the Chinese stealth armor. You also can't use any under armor with this. So you lose out on extra bonuses to your special uh, from the under armor as well. So no mods, no under armor. Also, no outfits. You can still use whatever you want for your headgear. Uh, you only need the body piece to actually have the benefit of the stealth suit active. Uh, so the helmet is purely, you know, cosmetic and the usual disease resist that it gives. Uh, but equipping an outfit will unequip this armor. So you can't wear any outfits over it either. And the biggest drawback is no legendary effect. It cannot be made legendary. And again, even if it could, it would be one piece of legendary gear compared to five armor pieces in other armor sets. So you're losing out big time on stuff like, you know, your unyielding or vanguards or weightless, whatever you want to go for, as well as stuff like AP refresh, weapon weight reduction, and all the other good legendary effects that you can have on your armor pieces. And also another big thing that you miss out on is legendary perk cards like Funky Duds uh, don't work with the Chinese stealth armor either. So you lose out on legendary perk cards like that and sizzling styles, which need, you know, full armor sets, which technically it is a full armor set, but it doesn't actually show up uh, and work for you. Now, back when this first released, there wasn't legendary crafting, so you couldn't roll and re-roll you know, armor pieces over and over and over again to target particular pieces like you can now. So putting together a particular full armor set of whatever, let's say, unyielding leather, it was kind of a big grind and a lot of RNG or trading to get what you wanted. So having Something like this in that interim period while you were getting your perfect set together was actually pretty useful and helped out quite a bit. Get this usually when you're on the lower level side of things doing the main quest line. So this will definitely help you out with stealth and nuke zones, especially if you don't want to use power armor uh, and doing all of that stuff. And it helped me back out in the day when I first started playing. Whereas now there's way more armor sets in the game and legendary crafting has made that grind much, much easier and quicker. Still RNG, of course, but a hell of a lot easier and quicker. So it's not as useful as it might have been once upon a time, but I still think it's a really good choice for new players and players in that level, you know, 50 to like 100 when you're unlocking all the cards you want for your build and crafting or finding the armor pieces that you need. It's just much quicker now than it used to be, uh, but all the things that you lose out on really does suck. So not ideal, at least for me, to keep using it when you're, you know, hundreds of levels in and hundreds of hours of playtime in, unless you really want to, of course. And if you still are using it as your main set, after like two years now since Wasteland is released, uh, then let me know down in the comments. Uh, but still a good armor set, think it has its place. I think it would be cool if you could make it legendary, uh, if it had some mods that you could use on it, if you could use outfits over it, it would make a lot of people happy. Uh, just give it a bit of life and more usage for more players. But let me know what you think about the Chinese stealth armor or what you would love to see for it. But hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, then hey, consider liking and subscribing, sticking around for more Fallout content. As always, massive thank you to the channel members for their support. But for now, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.